Ever wondered if it's proper to ask an amputee about their loss? Often we're led to believe it's impolite or invasive. Picture this. A young woman, let's call her Jane, became an amputee. She encounters curious glances, hushed whispers, but rarely direct questions. Yet Jane prefers genuine queries over silent assumptions. If the question stems from authentic concern and curiosity, it's not offensive, it's human connection. So it's not about the question, but how and why you ask it. Now how do you approach an amputee if you're curious about their journey? Let's imagine a scene. You're at a coffee shop and you spot someone with a prosthetic arm. You're intrigued, but you don't want to be rude. What do you do? The key is to approach with respect, empathy, and genuine curiosity. You might start by saying, excuse me, I hope I'm not intruding, but I noticed your prosthetic arm. If you're comfortable, would you mind sharing your story? This approach recognizes their autonomy and gives them the opportunity to share or not to share, as they wish. Remember, it's not about satisfying your curiosity. It's about understanding their journey, their resilience, and their strength. It's about learning to see the world through their eyes, even if just for a moment. So the next time you meet an amputee, remember these guidelines. Remember, it's about creating a safe space for open dialogue. So, to sum up the right way to approach an amputee, it's essential to come from a place of respect, empathy, and genuine curiosity. It's not offensive to ask about their experience, so long as your questions are driven by true concern and curiosity. Let's not forget it's not the question that could offend, but the manner in which it's asked. It's all about the approach, not the question. And that's something we should remember not only when talking to amputees, but in all our interactions.